An eight-year-old girl alleged to have been raped by two ten-year-old boys has told the Old Bailey that the boys did not rape her. Her admission was made during cross-examination by Defence Counsel. With more on this, we're joined now by our correspondent, uh, Danny Shaw. And Danny, just start, if you can, by reminding us what's happened in this case to date. Well, these two boys, who were both aged ten at the time of the alleged assaults last October, um, are accused of raping this girl, who's eight, um, at, uh, near a block of flats and at a field um, in West London. And the case opened yesterday, and we heard evidence uh, from the girl, the alleged victim, uh, from video interviews that she gave to the police shortly after the alleged attacks. This evidence was described by the prosecution yesterday as compelling evidence. And what she did was describe what had happened to her, and in brief, what she said was that the boys effectively at one point sort of imprisoned her, uh, uh, trapped her near some bin sheds, and then dragged her off to, uh, to a nearby park where they carried out the attacks, um, and the, the boys had actually forced her to remove some of her underwear. Um, it was, this was a story that she stuck to yesterday in these videoed interviews which were conducted, as I say, uh, last year. And so now tell us what has emerged during cross-examination. Well, what's emerged today is that under cross-examination by barristers uh, who represent the two boys, she has denied uh, effectively the story, the account that she gave yesterday. She said that she played with the boys voluntarily, uh, that she pulled her own underwear down while the boys exposed themselves to her. She said neither boy had raped her and that she'd lied to her mother about what had happened because she'd been naughty and was worried she wouldn't get any sweets. And at one point, the judge, Mr Justice Saunders, asked uh, what the girl had been worried about and she replied, no sweets if it found out I had been naughty. OK, in that case, uh, continuing with uh, Danny, for the moment, thanks very much indeed. A ten-year-old boy accused of raping a girl of eight told police he didn't know what sex was. Police interviews with the boy, who is charged alongside an 11-year-old, were read out to an Old Bailey jury today. John Brain was in court. Leaving the Old Bailey this evening in separate cars, two children who would normally have spent the day in the classroom at primary school. Instead, they've been in a courtroom accused of rape. For four days now, the two boys, one age 10, the other 11, have heard the prosecution account of how they allegedly raped an eight-year-old girl. Today, the court heard details of a police interview with a 10-year-old on the day he was arrested. The police officer asked him, do you know what sex is? The boy replied, I don't know what it means. Asked what he'd learned in his sex education lessons in school, he said, how to make a baby. You need a man there, and you need a woman, and that's it. He said he'd exposed himself to the alleged victim only because she'd asked him to, but he hadn't touched her. He said she'd asked his friend to have sex with her. She said, let's do it. His friend told him, go away if you don't want to look. They came back about 30 seconds later, he said. The two boys who've been sitting quietly with their mothers in the courtroom both deny rape. Members of the jury have been told to stay at home tomorrow while some of the legal issues surrounding this unusual case are discussed. The trial itself is due to resume on Wednesday. John Brain, BBC News, at the Old Bailey. Two schoolboys aged 10 and 11 have been found guilty of attempting to rape an eight-year-old girl. Barristers for the boys, who were both 10 at the time, so they were only playing a game. They will now be put on the sex offenders register. Our correspondent, John Brain, was in court and joins us now from the Old Bailey. John. Well, George, the Old Bailey has witnessed the trials of some of the most notorious criminals in history. But for the past two weeks, it's seen the spectacle of two primary school children on trial for serious sexual offences. Today, both were convicted of attempted rape. But some people question whether this was the right place for such young defendants. Driven away from the Old Bailey this evening into an uncertain future. Two small boys who now have the status of convicted sex offenders. As the guilty verdicts were announced, the ten-year-old turned to his mother who looked straight ahead. There was no reaction from the eleven-year-old. Their victim, who wasn't in court, is even younger than them. She'd given her evidence in a recorded police interview which was shown to the jury. 
the eight-year-old clutched a teddy bear as she described the attack in West London last year. She said the boys had pulled down her underwear in the lifts at a block of flats and again in a bin store. They'd then taken her to a field and tried to rape her. This was never going to be an easy case for the court to hear, but that does not absolve the CPS of the right to prosecute where there is sufficient evidence to do so and where it is in the public interest. We hope that the jury's verdict today can bring the young girl and her family some comfort to get on with their lives after the trauma of these events. Because of the tender ages of the children involved in the trial, special measures were taken in court. The boys were allowed to sit with their mothers instead of going into the dock, and the judge and barristers removed their wigs and gowns. Even so, some experts believe they were far too young to be put on trial. What the research is increasingly showing us is that the child of that age is relative to an adult, developmentally immature, in the key areas that they would need to be able to participate in the trial, like being able to instruct their solicitor, like being able to uh, understand complex legal terms. The trial has also raised issues about the treatment of young witnesses. The case nearly collapsed when under cross-examination, the eight-year-old girl agreed with the defence barrister's suggestion that the boys hadn't really done anything wrong. Critics say children shouldn't be asked leading questions. Children find these very difficult to deal with, and particularly tag, what we call tag questions, where you say, um, you went to his house, didn't you? Well, a child finds that difficult to not answer yes. The judge has invited observations about the way the trial was staged. He'll sentence the boys in eight weeks' time. Well, the judge has said his priority in sentencing will be the boys' welfare, but they do both face the prospect of being sent to a secure children's home. George, John, thank you. Three children were merely playing. They were being a little bit naughty and playing a game rather like doctors and nurses. In fact, they argued that the whole case should have been thrown out of court because the girl's evidence was inconsistent in that at one point she admitted she'd lied to her mother about what exactly had happened. However, prosecutors after the hearing today said that they were convinced the girl's evidence was strong, strong enough to bring this case to court and certainly strong enough to secure the convictions. We were very convinced when we listened and saw the girl giving her evidence on the interview to the police. So she gave very clear evidence and it was very consistent, not only in her interview with the police, but she told her mother very shortly after the incident and also when she told the doctor. So she had given a consistent story, which was very compelling. Well, the two boys are now being placed on the sex offenders register. They'll have to wait another eight weeks, though, before sentencing. That's to allow time for social workers to compile reports. The judge then will look at, what, look at these reports and determine what sentence he will give them. He said he will take their welfare into account. However, one thing he will have to consider is whether or not to take the boys away from their families and place them in care. Thanks very much, Laura Bundock. And one story that's been capturing... Uh, quite a number of the papers. This Absolutely. A lot of the tabloids have gone with this as well. Um, the two boys who were convicted of attempting to rape uh, an eight-year-old girl, the boys were both aged 10, and as the um, headline sums it up here, branded criminals for playing doctors and nurses, as the headline puts it. And a very so distressing Very case. distressing, and some lawyers are saying the fact that it went to court is horrific and absurd.